This planet, yeah, the one right here, shouldn't exist, but it does. A newly discovered planet rotates around a star that's much smaller and dimmer than our Sun. The planet, however, is enormous. Such a tiny star couldn't create it, so it's like finding an ostrich egg in a chicken coop. A team at Penn State built a special tool called the Habitable Zone Planet Finder. It's an instrument that's supposed to find planets around dim, cool stars. It's connected to a big telescope in Texas. The tool looks at the light from these stars, which is mostly in the near-infrared, beyond what our eyes can see. This gadget can spot changes in a star's speed caused by a planet. If the star movement slightly changes, that means there must be a gravitational pull nearby. Years ago, this technique helped find the first known exoplanet around a star like our Sun. Today, we've improved this method to make more precise measurements. Our main goal is to find Earth-like planets. They should be rocky and located in habitable zones, areas around stars where liquid water could exist. The Doppler technique isn't that great at finding Earth-like worlds yet, but works well for cool, dim stars. And that's how we discovered the impossible LHS 3154b. Planets usually form in disks made of gas and dust in space. Picture a flat, spinning cloud of tiny particles. These particles come together and stick to each other, creating a flat, rotating disk. Over time, these tiny bits combine to form a solid core. This is the starting point for a planet. Once the core is there, it attracts more dust and even gas like hydrogen and helium. But making a planet this way isn't easy. They need a lot of stuff, mass, and materials. This process is called core accretion. Stars are a huge help in that process. Usually, big stars have more gravity, so they can gather more stuff to form planets. But the star we discovered recently isn't very big. It's nine times smaller than our sun. A star this small shouldn't have a big enough disk to make a heavy planet. To do that, its disk should have been at least 10 times bigger. But this heavy planet, LHS 3154b, exists. Now, this mysterious planet is 13 times heavier than our Earth. It's similar in size to Neptune. It's about 50 light years away from us in the Hercules constellation, which, in space terms, is very close. The planet is also super close to its star, completing one year in almost four days. This discovery is making scientists rethink their ideas about how planets and stars come into existence. There are new theories coming around. For example, a theory called gravitational instability. It says that, instead of the pieces coming together bit by bit, the material in the disk collapses all at once, directly creating a planet. But even with this theory, it's hard to explain how such a heavy planet could form without a really massive disk. It'll take us some time to figure out the truth. This isn't the first planet that makes us doubt our theories. Recently, scientists found another planet called Hala. This planet is orbiting a star called Baekdu, and just like the previous one, it shouldn't really exist. It's way too close to its star. Stars change a lot during their lives. Normally, when a star becomes big and prepares to leave this world, it's called the red giant stage. A star like that tends to destroy or push away any nearby planets, creating a huge mess. Hala rotates around a red giant, and it should have been swallowed or destroyed by the expanding star a long time ago. But it's still hanging there. Even though Baekdu has already started burning helium and shrunk to a smaller size than expected, Hala isn't bothered in the slightest. Scientists called Hala the Forbidden Planet. Ooh. This discovery challenges what we thought about how planets survive near aging stars. It raises two theories. One suggests that Baekdu was once two stars, a white dwarf and a red giant. Hala orbited them both, and they merged before the red giant fully expanded. This allowed Hala to survive, because the extra helium from the white dwarf prevented the red giant from growing too much. The second theory says that Hala formed from the debris created when the two stars merged. In this scenario, Hala would be a very young planet orbiting an elderly star. Astronomers plan to continue studying Hala and look for more planets like that. Another oddball, besides me, is called LTT 9779b. This one scares us too because it's too shiny. 
The planet reflects 80% of the light from its star. Regular mirrors reflect from 85 to almost 100% of light, which means that this mysterious planet should look like a rough mirror with aluminum or silver-like reflections. This is another Neptune-sized planet. It's located 268 light-years from us and was discovered by NASA's TESS spacecraft. It completes a full rotation around its star in just 19 hours. It's so close to its star that it's scorching hot, reaching temperatures over 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Normally, planets this close lose their atmosphere and turn into bare rocks. But this one breaks the rules again. Now this time, we know the secret of its survival. It's because of the planet's shiny metallic clouds, which are made of glass and titanium salt. These clouds rain titanium onto its hot surface. They also reflect a lot of the light, preventing the planet from getting too hot and losing its atmosphere. It's like having a mirror shield. This planet's size also surprised scientists. It's way bigger than Earth. Other planets this close to their stars are either much bigger gas giants or small rocky planets. This planet is a smaller gas giant, and scientists didn't expect it to exist so close to its star. This is the shiniest planet ever found, even shinier than Venus. But despite its cool appearance, it's probably not a friendly place for life because of its extreme temperatures and strange metallic rain. And our final rule breaker is a planet called WASP 107b. Scientists discovered it using the James Webb Space Telescope. It's located around 208 light years from us in the Virgo constellation. It's also fast and completes an orbit around its star in just six days. This is a super Neptune exoplanet. It's similar to Jupiter in some ways, including the same size and scorching hot temperatures. But the main difference is that it's much lighter, weaker, and less dense. This is the least dense planet we've discovered so far. After researching some more, we also found that it has a tail. The helium on the planet extends beyond the transit egress. The planet is slowly losing its atmosphere due to extreme ultraviolet radiation from the star. This creates a comet-like tail. So it looks like a fluffy comet. But that was just the beginning. The planet's low density, or fluffiness, allowed astronomers to study its atmosphere in detail. They found some surprising things, like water vapor and clouds made of fine silicate particles, which are like really fine-grained sand. The planet's host star doesn't emit a lot of high-energy light. But since WASP-107b is so loose, the light can penetrate deep into its atmosphere. This creates sulfur dioxide that smell when you light a match. In other words, it's a fluffy planet that rains sand and smells like matches. The researchers think the sand clouds in the atmosphere form in a similar way to clouds on Earth. They just have droplets of sand instead of water. These sand droplets condense, fall, turn into silicate vapor in hot layers within the planet, and then rise again to form clouds once more. And once again, this planet couldn't have formed in its current spot. Astronomers say that it likely moved closer to its star from a birth orbit because it was attracted by some heavier neighbor. It also follows a retrograde orbit, meaning it orbits in the opposite direction to its star's rotation. All these discoveries are changing how we understand planets and their atmospheres, giving us new insights into the mysteries of our own solar system. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.